Hi my dear students, welcome back to a new video of I Square. Today in this video we are going to discuss about a quadrant method for finding sin x plus y, cos x plus y and tan x plus y for some particular angles. As you can see that if we are given with a coordinate axis like this, then we know that positive x axis is denoted by 0 degree and the positive y axis is denoted by pi by 2 radians or 90 degree we all know this and the negative x-axis as we know it denotes a pi radians or 180 degree isn't it and the negative y-axis represent 3 pi by 2 radians or we say it as 270 degree so these are the basic degree measures corresponding to the positive x-axis positive y-axis negative x-axis and negative y-axis respectively and also we knew that in the first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. And in the second quadrant, we know that only sine and cosec are positive. And in the third trigonometric uh, third quadrant, we know that the trigonometric ratios which are positive are tan and its reciprocal, which is cot. So tan and cot are only positive in the third quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, we know that cosine and sec are positive. So, this is the sign of trigonometric function in these four quadrants. Let it be there. Now, suppose that we want to find sine pi by 2 plus x. We move like this. First, we have to identify the sign of the result. Since sine pi by 2 plus x will lie in the second quadrant. You know that pi by 2 comes here and since pi by 2 plus x will lie in the second quadrant. Hence, sin pi, by, sin pi by 2 plus x will be positive since sin is positive in the second quadrant. And if we are taking the sum with an integral multiple of pi by 2, this sin will change to its co-function which is cosine and the value is cosine of x which means that sin pi by 2 plus x is positive cos x. Now we shall find cos pi by 2 plus x by the same formula. As we can see that pi by 2 plus x lies here and cosine function is negative in the second quadrant and the answer will be negative. Now cos pi by 2 plus x, here the sum is taken with an integral multiple of pi by 2, hence the function will change to its co-function which is sin x, hence cos pi by 2 plus x is nothing but minus sin x. Now we shall find out what is sin pi plus x. As you can see that pi plus x will lie in the third quadrant and here sine is negative hence the answer will be of negative sign. and since the sum is taken with an integral multiple of pi the function will remain the same hence it is minus sin x again we can find cos pi plus x by the same method we can see that pi plus x lies in the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, cosine is negative and the answer will be therefore negative. And since the sum is taken with an integral multiple of pi only, it won't change to its core function. It will remain the same. So, minus cos x will be the answer. Similarly, we can find what is sine 3 pi by 2 minus x. As you can see that 3 pi by 2 minus x lies in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant sine is negative and also you can see that the sum difference is taken with an integral multiple of pi by 2. Hence sine will change to its core function which is cos x. So the answer for this will be sine 3 pi by 2 minus x is nothing but minus cos x. Again we can find another example. We shall move on to another example. Suppose what we want to find cos pi minus x. As you can see that pi minus x again lies in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant cos is negative so the final answer will be negative and since difference is taken from an integral multiple of pi only the trig function will remain the same hence the answer will be cos x. In a similar manner we can find out the sum and difference of any angle for any trigonometric function just by checking whether it is a sum of the integral multiple of pi by 2 or whether the sum is or the sum or difference is taken from an integral multiple of pi. Let us move on to some more examples.
we have we have to find tan 2 pi plus x as you can see that tan 2 pi plus x will lie in the first quadrant itself and in the first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive hence the final result will be positive and again since the sum is taken with an integral multiple of pi the function will remain the same hence it will be what tan x and again we can find cot 3 pi by 2 plus x here we can see that in the fourth quadrant, the value angle will lie in the fourth quadrant and the fourth quadrant coat is negative. Hence, the final result will be negative. Again, the sum is taken with an integral multiple of pi by 2. Hence, coat will change to its co-function which is tan x. If you don't know what is a co-function, the link is given in the description to check and to learn what is a co-function of a trigonometric function. And this is the end of this class. I think it is easier for us to find the sum of angles for any trigonometric function when the sum is taken with an sum of difference is taken with an integral multiple of pi by 2 or an integral multiple of 2 pi by using this quadrant method. If you have any doubt, drop a message in the comment section and we shall meet with new easy methods to find answers in the next class. Till then, bye-bye.